For decades, people have been asking, are we alone? Scientists usually point their telescopes outward, scanning galaxies millions of light years away. But what if the real evidence has been sitting much closer, hiding on the icy, rocky moons of our own solar system? Strange signals, bizarre chemistry, and unexplainable anomalies are giving us clues. Clues that suggest alien life may already exist just one planet over. In 2012, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope detected something shocking erupting from the surface of Jupiter's icy moon Europa. Massive geysers of water vapor shot more than 100 miles into space, leaving astronomers stunned. This was not just you know frozen ice sublimating into gas. These plumes are thought to be connected directly to a vast underground ocean that scientists have long suspected is hidden beneath Europa's thick crust of ice. That ocean isn't small. In fact, it's believed to contain more than twice the amount of water here on Earth. So imagine the possibilities here. If you had a world covered in deep ocean, heating from below by volcanic activity and insulated by ice from above, you have a perfect laboratory for life. When scientists analyzed the composition of the plumes, they found signs of salts and organic molecules, the essential building blocks of biology. Some researchers have gone so far as to say Europa is one of the top places in the solar system to actually discover alien life. Every time those plumes erupt, it's like the moon is venting secrets from a hidden world. Saturn's small moon Enceladus was once thought to be little more than a frozen snowball drifting in space, but that all changed in 2005 when NASA's Cassini spacecraft made a pass over its south pole and saw massive jets of water vapor and ice crystals blasting into space. Cassini didn't just observe these plumes from a distance, it actually flew through them. Instruments on board detected hydrogen gas, methane, complex organic molecules. On Earth, this exact chemical mix is found around hydrothermal vents deep under the ocean, places where bacteria and other strange organisms thrive without sunlight. The presence of hydrogen is especially important. It's the fuel source for microbes in these extreme Earth environments. Some scientists now believe that Enceladus may host similar ecosystems beneath its crust, with alien microbes living off chemical energy, just as they do here on Earth. Back to Europa, because this moon has more mysteries than most planets. In 1997, NASA's Galileo spacecraft detected oxygen in Europe's thin atmosphere. First, it seemed impossible. Oxygen is not an element that hangs around on its own. On Earth, oxygen exists in such abundance because of photosynthesis from plants and algae. So what was it doing around Europa? Well, one explanation is that sunlight and Jupiter's intense radiation are constantly splitting water molecules on the surface ice, freeing up oxygen. But the sheer amount detected raised some questions. Was it really only the product of chemistry, or was it a possible sign of something more? If life were thriving below the surface, its presence might eventually alter the atmosphere in ways we could detect. The discovery of oxygen showed that Europa's environment is a lot more dynamic possibly a lot more Earth-like than anyone thought. Saturn's largest moon, Titan, is one of the strangest worlds we've ever studied. It has rivers, lakes, and seas, but unlike Earth, those lakes are filled with liquid methane and ethane. Titan is also the only moon in the solar system with a thick atmosphere, and that atmosphere is loaded with nitrogen, making it strangely similar to our own composition. In 2010, NASA scientists announced something troubling. They found that hydrogen gas in Titan's atmosphere was mysteriously vanishing near the surface. This wasn't a minor fluctuation. The hydrogen seemed to be disappearing in ways that seemed to show it was being consumed. On Earth, microbes do exactly that. They take in hydrogen and use it as energy. Scientists began asking whether something similar might be happening on Titan. Could there be alien organisms living in Titan's methane lakes, consuming hydrogen and producing methane in the process? If so, it would mean Titan is not only habitable, but already inhabited. Europa is famous for for the reddish-brown streaks that cross its surface, creating patterns that look like deep scars on the moon's face. For decades, these were assumed to be nothing more than cracks filled with salty ice. But in 2013, when researchers examined them more closely, they found something unexpected. The streaks contained organic compounds mixed with salts. On Earth, that type of chemistry is often linked to biological processes. Some astrobiologists have speculated that these red stains may be more than just geological features. They could be evidence 
a material leaking up from the hidden ocean below, carrying with it chemical traces of life. If microbes exist in Europa's subsurface sea, they may be leaving the fingerprints on the moon's very surface right where we can see them. The possibility that these stains are biological in origin is pretty exciting. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, is one of the coldest places in the entire solar system, but it has proven to be far from dead. When Voyager 2 flew past it in 1989, scientists were pretty shocked to discover active geysers spewing nitrogen gas into space. For such a distant, frozen world, this level of activity was pretty surprising. Years later, in 2018, reanalysis of the Voyager data suggested something even stranger. There were hints of phosphine gas in Triton's environment. On Earth, phosphine is rare and strongly associated with life. It is unstable, breaks down quickly, which means it must constantly be replenished. Here on our planet, microbes are the producers. So if phosphine is truly on Triton, then something may be creating it. In 2021, NASA's Juno spacecraft picked up something that caught everyone off guard. It detected a natural radio signal coming from Jupiter's largest moon, Ganymede. Now, it wasn't a broadcast from aliens, probably, but it did confirm something important. Ganymede has a massive saltwater ocean locked beneath its icy surface, larger than all of Earth's oceans combined. The radio waves were caused by electrons interacting with Ganymede's magnetic field and Jupiter's powerful magnetosphere. So what made this discovery so significant was that Ganymede is the only moon in the solar system known to have its own magnetic field. That means its interior may be warm enough and active enough to generate one. Combined with the presence of liquid water, this creates conditions that are pretty strikingly similar to Earth. The thought that a moon with its own ocean and protective magnetic field could be hiding alien ecosystems is as disturbing as it is really fascinating. Mars itself has been a focus of the search for life. Its small moon Phobos has also produced its own mysteries. In 1989, the Soviet Phobos II spacecraft sent back images and readings suggesting strange shadows and unexplained heat signatures on the surface. And then, without warning, the spacecraft abruptly lost contact. Conspiracy theories started being talked about. Some speculated the probe was deliberately silenced. Uh, later studies of the Martian system revealed another unsettling detail. Methane has been detected around Mars, and its presence is still unexplained. Methane breaks down quickly under sunlight, which means it must be constantly replenished. While this may be happening on Mars itself, some researchers have raised the possibility that its moons, including Phobos, might also be playing a role here. Jupiter's moon Callisto has always seemed like the forgotten sibling compared to Europa and Ganymede. For years, it was believed to be, you know, just a dead, crater rock with little to really offer, but in 2001, scientists started to suspect something more was going on. Observations hinted that Callisto might have cryovolcanism, or ice volcanoes. Instead of spewing lava like Earth's volcanoes, these eruptions would release slushy water, ammonia, and other substances from beneath the surface. If that's true, this means Callisto may also have a subsurface ocean. If it does, then yet another moon in the solar system has the right ingredients for life. The disturbing part of this discovery is how common these conditions seem to be. Instead of life being, you know, this rare accident, the evidence is really stacking up that habitable environments are everywhere. And we circle back to Titan, because it may be the strangest and most alien world we've ever discovered. Titan has rain, rivers, lakes, seasonal cycles. It looks eerily similar to Earth, too, yet it is profoundly different. The lakes aren't filled with water, but with liquid methane and ethane. This means that if life exists on Titan, it would have to be based on an entirely different chemistry than what we know. In 2007, NASA's Cassini mission discovered that Titan's lakes and seas weren't stable. Their surfaces changed mysteriously over time. Some lakes even seemed to vanish and reappear. This caught them off guard, but it also raised the question of whether chemical or biological processes were driving these changes. Some astrobiologists have theorized that Titan could host methane-based life forms, creatures that breathe hydrogen and exhale methane, the exact reverse of life on Earth. I've been your host, James, and I will catch you, yes, you specifically, next time. Thank you.